Hi, my name's Dale, and welcome to my shop. Wow, that is one thousandth of an inch. I can barely see the, the gap with this magnifying glass. And that's what I want to talk to you today about, is how small one thousandth of an inch really is. Because I want to do a series on measuring tools, and I want you to understand how small we really work within. It's amazing. And I'm going to do it with a 2x4 and a chop saw. That's right. So that's what we're going to do today on MetalTipsAndTricks.com. So in woodworking, we talk in a sixteenth of an inch. In metalworking, we would call you a hack. Um, mostly because that's not a tolerance in metalworking and you're using fractions. As you know, in metalworking, we take an inch and we divide that down into tenths. So a tenth of an inch, a hundredth of an inch, a thousandth of an inch. So we're going to take a two by four and we're going to cut it down, but we're going to have this represent a model of an inch. And we're going to actually start with a 2 by 4 We're going to cut it down to 8 foot 4 inches. Now, for you math people, 8 feet is 96 inches, plus 4 equals 100 inches. And then we'll divide down from there, making it a lot easier getting to the standards of tenths, not fractions. So let's measure this out. So we're going to mark 100 inches, and we're going to cut that off. Now, our scaled model is going to be off a little bit. I Forgive me for that, but that's life. So here is one inch. Now, that's an impressive size um, for our scaled model. So now let's go down even smaller. Let's take this next one, and since we had 100 inches there, we're going to cut this down to one. Uh, we're going to cut this down to 10 inches. So this one here represents a tenth of an inch. Still pretty large. All right, another cut. We're going to cut this one down to one inch. And on our scale model, this is actually a hundredth of an inch. It's still pretty large. So let's go again. Now I can't use a tape measure. Let's go over here to the drawer. Let's get something to measure. Oh, and a tenth. Let's see what do we got here. Oh, okay. We'll just go with this. Tenth of an inch. Now, that is one thousandth of an inch on our scale model. It's pretty amazing. Now, if I wanted to cut down to ten thousandths or even a half, um, I can't do it with this saw. We're talking ten thousandths of an inch on our scale model is the thickness of a piece of paper. Here it is, our scaled model and all of its parts. It's pretty amazing to think that this represents one inch. And in this scale model, we've broken it down into one inch, tenth of an inch, hundred, thousand. It's amazing what we do as a machinist with the materials we have. So let's look at this a little bit closer. When we're working 
in the machine world, we're d dealing with decimals and breaking again down into tenths. So if we are to take one inch, in the machinist, if you were to get a blueprint, it would say 1.000. Now, what is significant is anything to the left of that decimal point is in full size inches. Anything to the right of it is fraction breaking that number down. And if we were to look at this on our blueprint and said, this number here, the three zeros behind it, don't ignore them. They're really important. The, the um, draftsman that put this together and the engineer wants us to make it that. He wants it one inch, and he wants it with accuracy within a thousandth of that inch. So it's not something to ignore. Now, he may have only left two zeros, which is also fine. Then we're only going down to a hundredth of an inch. But let's look continuously onto our model. This piece here represents one-tenth of an inch. And that's point one zero zero. That's it. Ha! Okay. Trying to get all these numbers correct. Sometimes a little challenging. Now if we want to go down to a hundredth of an inch, this block here represents that hundredth of an inch. And that's point zero one zero. Now I know a lot of this is redundant for you guys. But this is for somebody new getting into machining. And I just want them to be very clear what our system is that we're working in to just help them solidify in their thought process what we're actually doing as machinists. The next one here, a thousandth of an inch. This is really what I would say is the holy grail in most machine shops. This is where we try to reach plus or minus a half a thousandth. And that's pretty amazing when you look at this thin piece of wood compared to our one inch model. So when I say it's the holy grail, it's what we try to be within. So if we want to press a shaft into a bearing, we're going to be plus a thousandth of an inch, and that's going to press it right in, no matter on the finish of the surface, of course. But now, let's talk about the real challenge. I've never worked within point zero 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 one, and that's ten thousandths of an inch. Now, when we're talking that kind of measurement, we're also talking that the part being machined builds up heat, and it will expand, and it'll throw your measurement off. You actually have to let a piece like that rest and cool down before you can make its final measurements. And that's represented by a piece of paper on our scale model. That's pretty cool that this thin little piece of paper, if we were to stack up 10,000 of these, it would reach the full height of our 2x4 or our scale. So this here was just to help, I guess this is really just a prelude to my next video. And the next video is going to talk about calibrating your different types of measuring gauges. And we're going to go in a little bit in detail of how to do that. So I hope you've liked this video. If you have, please subscribe to my channel. I'd also love to hear any of your comments. Until next time, go out in your shop, build something cool. Thanks.